How do you become an overnight success? Have you ever wanted success so bad that you would do almost anything for it or you would try almost anything? I know how you feel because I felt the same way before myself. My name's Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design and I'm here to teach you how to become an overnight success in really three simple steps. All right, so let's call out the elephant in the room. Let's be honest here. There's no such thing as an overnight success. If you look at anyone successful, Will Smith, Kevin Hart, Dwayne Johnson, all these guys, um, you know that they didn't make it just overnight. It's taking a long time for them to have success. And I'm gonna share with you how that's come about in these three simple steps, but I'll tell you, you know, some of them, not only did it take years, but some of them it took decades for them to become successful. And so you gotta plant that in your mind that if you're gonna become an overnight success, it doesn't happen overnight. It happens sometimes over decades. And you gotta ask yourself, are you willing to become, willing to put in the work to become that overnight success? Because I'll tell you, it's not easy. So let's jump into the first point. The first one is you have to become a master and not a dabbler. See, you got to plant yourself in one area. It's kind of like a tree, okay? When you take a tree and you plant it, it's in shock and you gotta make sure that you give it love, care, and you know, water and light and all that good stuff, but you gotta give it what it needs so that it can relax, it can adapt to the environment. It's kind of like if you were to move over and over and over again, you kind of be like, oh my gosh, I gotta learn, meet new people, where am I, where are these things? Well, tree's the same way. But if you pick it up after a month and you move it to another spot, and then a month later you pick it up and move it to another spot, what happens is you're not allowing the roots to grow deep to get the nutrients it needs to go deeper so that it holds stronger so it can grow up. The more the roots grow deeper, the higher the tree can go and the more fruit that it can bear. Well, we're the same way. Most people, if you jump from one thing to the next to the next, you're not gonna succeed. I can't tell you how many people I know, and I've even coached, that they would try network marketing, then they go to internet marketing, then they're a real estate agent, then they're a real estate investor, and then they're a crypto investor, and then they're a stock and options investor, and it's just like, whoa, you have more titles behind your name that you've tried out than anyone that I know. See, I remember almost a decade ago that I was in this dilemma. I was in this situation where I just crawled out of $30,000, $40,000 debt. I was going to school. I was barely making $2,000 a month in San Diego, living with like six different people. I had the coldest room in the winter, the hottest room in the summer. And I was just starting to put some money away slowly. And I was, I got involved from school. I was going to school to become, well, I was going through organizational leadership for my degree at the time, but I also got involved with my buddy's company doing traveling sales where we would have to literally travel two hours away, knock on someone's door that we had an appointment for that was preset and hoped that they opened the door. Sometimes they didn't, we'd have to drive all the way back. Right, And just imagine how that would feel, driving two hours one way and two hours back and having no deal. But we were doing home energy upgrade sales and you look, you could do really good on commission. I mean, depending on what this family may have needed and taken advantage of a great opportunity, you could in a weekend, you know, make four, five, 10, sometimes even 20 grand a weekend. And so I had friends that I was with that was part of my buddy's company. They were making 10, 20 grand a month. And I just got started. I was like, all right, let me, let me start doing this thing. But at the same time, I started going down the professional route of coaching and I had an opportunity come up and I was at a dilemma because I needed money. I had desires. I wanted to go on trips. I'd love to buy a home. I wanted to have a nicer car. I wanted to have money in the bank. Go figure. Who doesn't want to have money in the bank, right? <clears throat> and so I was kind of like torn because a part of me really thought if I put my mind to it, I could be really good at this and I could make a lot of money like all my friends were. And I was watching these guys blow money left and right. But then I remembered as I was looking at the coaching, I said, what do I want long-term? You know, what's my ultimate vision? And I realized that I wanted to be able to travel anywhere in the world and make money anywhere I went. But the challenge was in the beginning of the coaching journey, I wasn't gonna make a lot of money. I, in fact, in the beginning, I didn't make any money, right? And so I was torn. I could be making 10, 20 grand a month versus making no money. And having the thought that later down the line, if I became a master in it, I could really make some good money. 
And I remember there was a moment one evening, I was sitting there, my two buddies came back, they made about five or six grand off of one deal, and they were talking about how much they made that month, and they were all excited, and it was a weekend, and I was sitting in my room, and I was like, man, what do I, am I gonna sacrifice for the short term, or do I go after the long term? Because if I go after the long term, or even in the short term, I have to become a master either in sales or coaching. And I had to pick, and I remembered that I chose the long-term path of mastering coaching. And I'm here to tell you, <laughs> it's paid off handsomely, right? So you gotta figure out what do you wanna be a mastering? Because otherwise you're like that tree that jumps from one thing to the next to the next. Plus, people don't know where to refer you or who to refer you, like whatever you're doing, right? If one minute you're doing network marketing, the next minute you're a real estate agent, the next minute you're an investor, they don't know who to send to you if there is even anyone, right? Plus, they don't want to put their referral out there because you might not do that anymore or screw them over and jump away. So people like to do business with people who are masters. Plus, you don't hire the newbie, you hire the master, the person who's been down that path a million times. Or in some cases, they say to become a master in something, 10,000 hours. And with for me, I know I've done well over 17,000 coaching calls. So I put myself in the area of mastery there, right? And so you gotta figure out what do you wanna be a master in so that you can become an overnight success. All right, so on that journey of becoming a master, the second thing that you need to do is you gotta learn that when you fail, you have to get back up. If you're gonna fall, you're gonna fail, you gotta get back up. See, it's a principle that I live by and that I've studied and seen successful people over the course of my life and people I've studied and read about. Every time they've hit a speed bump, every time they hit a challenge, a tribulation, what did they do? Whenever they failed, they got back up. And it's a principle that I teach my son all the time. When he's running, he's two and a half, my son Joseph Mackay, and we're running around the house, and you know, at two and a half, you have good mobility, you just don't have great mobility, right? And so sometimes he falls and he cries and he starts whining, and all, and I, you know, as a good parent, I go over and I comfort him, right? Sometimes I don't, because it's not serious, but, <laughs> but I always ask him though, regardless if I comfort him or not, I say, what do we do when we fall? And then this little cute whiny voice, he says, get back up, right? Because he knows I'm teaching him, I'm training, condition his mindset that when you fall in life, you get back up. It's not an option to stay down. If you're going to become a master, you're not going to do that laying down. You have to get back up. And the people that are an overnight success, not only do they get back up, they get back up quickly and keep moving forward, right? And it reminds me of that Rocky quote. If you keep, you know, he's like, life will beat you to your knees, right? And life will keep knocking you down, but you got to keep taking the hits. You got to keep moving forward, right? And I probably butchered it and that's my sad Italian uh, accent there, but it's so true. You got to move forward and you got to move forward faster. So if you're going to be like my son, you have to take advantage as a second step. And when you fall, you have to get back up. The third one is you have to stay consistent over time, okay? I can't tell you how many people, it's like it's like a yo-yo, right? They go up and then they go down. They go up, they go down. It's like a roller coaster ride. People do this when they're trying to transform their body. They add weight over the holidays and then they lose it. And then they add weight and then they lose it. And it's like, it's this yo-yo effect. Why? Because they're not consistent. They don't stay consistent. Like for me, example, I'm doing these YouTube videos, three videos a week for you guys, right? My goal is to be consistent. That's it. You know, the, t the quality and, and how I speak and the stories I share with you, that will come in time. But my goal right now is to be consistent. Why? Because I know that with consistency over time comes growth and eventually becomes a, you become a master in something, right? So if you're going to succeed, you got to become consistent in what you're doing. It's kind of like a child, right? When they're first starting to learn how to walk, right? They're practicing consistently over and over and over till they get it. It's not like they fall down and they're like, all right, screw it. I couldn't do it. I'm done, right? No, it's they get back up and they're consistently moving forward, practicing owning it. It's kind of like for you. You probably, when you started the drive, you didn't just practice once or twice, you kept practicing, you got better and better and better, right? And at some point, someone's gonna watch this video in a handful of years and they're gonna be like, practice driving? I get in my Tesla and it drives for me, right? So, oh, the times we're in right now. But we gotta be consistent, right? I can't tell you, you know, it's kind of like with weight loss. 
I can't tell you how many times I have clients that are on their journey of weight loss and they eat clean for a week and they're like, I see nothing. Or they eat clean and they go to the gym and work out for a week and they lift up their shirt and they're like, I'm still fat. All right, and it's because you're not consistent over a long period of time. We have this preconceived notion, this rule that, oh, I'll be consistent to this point. And that's not true. You got to be consistent till you get your result, till you become a master and you're getting phenomenal results. Most people, they don't think that way. So if you're going to be able to become an overnight success, you have to stay consistent until you get your results. Just like Kevin Hart. I think it was like two decades before he became an overnight success. See, I have this young client, he's about 21, and he came to me, he wants to make more money, he wants to become financially free, and I'm like, man, you are light years ahead of where I was at 21, and we've helped him have some great breakthroughs where his income is rapidly going up, which is awesome. But he's like, I watch you, and he's like, he's watched my videos, and he hears my story on my podcast and everything, and I'm humbled when he says, he's like, I look at you and you're successful. And to him, it's like I'm an overnight success, right? But he doesn't see all the times when I was thirty, forty thousand dollars in credit card debt, when I was, had no income coming in, I was eating cheese and ketchup sandwiches to survive. I had, you know, I was in and out of relationships. I was just, I lived with six people in a house, the coldest room in the winter and the hottest in the summer, right? I didn't know who I was, and I just had to claw my way up and out of the hole that I dug myself into, right? And he doesn't see the times that I would jump on coaching calls and I take someone down a path that I thought they should go down, but it wasn't really the path that they needed or wanted. And that call was a fail. Or people that like, I don't want to coach with you anymore. He doesn't see that. He never heard that. He only gets the master coach, Joe Moffitt, right now, the overnight success, Joe Moffitt. But he doesn't see the last decade plus or the last two decades pretty much that I've been working on myself and failing and you know getting back up and staying consistent for the most part, right? And so you gotta become a master. If you're gonna become an overnight success, you got to become a master. So just to recap, the first step is become a master in what you do, not a dabbler, plant yourself, because if you keep picking yourself up, you're not gonna become a master, you're just gonna be in shock. The second step is you have to to get back up. If you're going to fall, you have to get back up. Just like I tell my son, when you fall, get back up. He knows it, we're wiring it into his brain at a young age. I know some of you are like, man, I wish I knew that growing up myself. But hey, you can learn it now and you can start from here. And number three is you have to stay consistent over time. Not to when you think you should stop, but when you actually get the results that you're looking for, the success that you've clearly defined for yourself, that is how you become an overnight success. So with that being said, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this because we're being consistent as I'm mastering this path. And every time I fall, I'm getting back up. In fact, I recorded this video and I didn't hit the record button. That's how silly I can be sometimes, right? And so I had to go back and re-record this video. I failed, I had to get back up and do this video again. So if you found value, please hit the like button, comment below, what are you a master and what are you becoming a master in that you're gonna decide you're not stopping till you get there. I'd love to know, hit that subscribe button. And with that, hope you guys found value in how to become an overnight success. So my name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. You guys have a good one, see you guys.